Well, I think there's a big canyon between uh, Europe and, and the U.S. It's just got a lot deeper, because uh, in Europe we actually care about humanity. Uh, and in America, it's, I lived there a long time. There's many great things, but the primary thing is profit and growth and technology. And so that really worries me. I think technology is, is uh, so powerful now, more powerful than nuclear weapons. And now he's got both. And that is a scary thought. Well, there's about a uh, hundred kinds of technology that will change your lives. I mean, right now, uh, computers that can think, you know, cognitive computing, uh, computers that can actually do their own thinking, uh, that will change the world, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. right? because we'll be able to run very large processes like social security, insurance, banking, the blockchain, using artificial intelligence. Yeah. And in 10 years, it'll be so good that we will not know how it does it. So it's very hard to control. Uh, genome editing, you know, editing the human genome, yeah. that's maybe 20 years away from reality. That is a huge shift in, you know, living forever, potentially. It's a very strange thought. Right? Uh, nanosciences, nanomaterials, the Internet of Things, connecting logistics and trucks and, and watches, uh, everything is connected. So the next 10 years, I like to say, bring more changes than the previous 300 years. Uh, it'll be some really good ones, like renewable energy, transportation, you know, cheaper costs, uh, but also some a lot of challenges of privacy and, and uh, you know, automation, jobless, job losses and things like that. I think that the uh, two game changers are really artificial intelligence, you know, computers that can derive their own thinking, uh, and genome editing. So being able to edit who we are and what we are and then have computers simulate us, you know, those are the two biggest, the biggest uh, things that we have to deal with. For watchmakers, it's a very big conflict because uh, the very concept of a watch is, is changing. It's like, you know, music is no longer a, a plastic thing, right? It's in the cloud, right? And so now the watches are moving into the cloud. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's going to be a big change to figure out what, what the next step is. I think we will always like luxury, but just luxury probably will not be enough. Thank you.